Oh god. Like how 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 good is this? This nose is good. How good is this? This nose is great. I really do appreciate it. Dave is saying, how could you say to giving her the chocolate? He had no chance. He had no chance. There, Mark, Dave's Dave's saying, God love you. Oh my god. That's nice, eh? Do you know what? I, I'm I'm taken by this one because I thought to myself again, you know, hundred quid a bottle, I mean what they're trying to do, I mean, is it just like is it gonna be crap? You know, you kinda of judge you know, sometimes you you, you you do judge books by covers. I mean there's no doubt that people look at things visually and think I love this. I'm not too sure if that's gonna be any good or you know, and you have to take the gamble. And I think I think a lot of people I mean this sold out the can I just say this one sold out in the matter of days in Northern Ireland. Days. Yep. Gone. Gone. The you whole just island? Could, well, the whole island, the but whole I mean, island. Northern Ireland, you just could gone. not. It you phoned gone. every freaking off license, yep. gone. The amount of people no. who were trying to pre-order it and phoning up, you know, beforehand, the the very day it was it was launched. Yes, yeah, so sorry. Did we talk about this? 56.4%? 56.4, 2008 Muscatel. Um, yes, the recasking of this one, you were saying, about, we were chatting earlier about Paddy's Day. Remember we were saying about Paddy's Day? So eight years, eight, so good. eight years bourbon and sherry, four then recast on St. Paddy's Day. Uh, it was a St. Patrick's Day 2016 and then finished for four years in the Muscatel casks. I just... It's good, eh? Toffee, sugar, it just the, me, that orange it, blossom note. Yeah. That floral... But it gives uh, me an appreciation again I'm, of Muscatel. I'm just the happy Muscatel to smell this for a while. You are no doubt Knows this. getting the Muscatel from this. There is not, there is not, a, without a shadow of a doubt, cask influence here is huge. Like, absolutely huge. The, the imparting of those yeah. flavours, the great flavour in here is massive. What I loved about this is the Muscat grape is kind of characterised by that, like, orange blossom, that orange floral note. And I would always say the Bushmills DNA, the triple distilled malt, does kind of have that fruity floral note to it. So I feel like it was just everything that we love about the Bushmills DNA, put it in the Muscatel cask, and it just lifts it to another another level. Do you know what it's like? I know it sounds really silly, but do you know when you, you, you make your own smoothies at home? You ever mm -hmm. do that? You ever get all that fruit? You don't do it. But, you know, some of us do. We get all that fruit that you've maybe thought, I was going to eat it, but I'm going to put it into a smoothie now because I can't really be bored mm -hmm. eating it. And then you get that fizz at the end of that. You know, you make it yourself and you've mm. got that fizz. And all all that's done is added lots of alcohol to it. I think, you know, we've got lots of alcohol. The fizz is great. The citrus notes are just massive in here. But the great, I mean, the the, the subtlety of that dryness, the great dryness as well is, is really, really, you know, it offsets the sweetness to the right yep. degree. yep. You know, it doesn't, the dryness is not overpowering. Nope. It doesn't, you know, leave your mouth kind of, you know, gasping for more. But you want to drink more. There's no doubt about that. You liking it, Finnan? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he's, this is, this he's is my, element. this is my favourite. God love him. Yeah, of course. Yeah, there was a week, you know, we, we did that BBC programme. The, um, there was a scene that got edited where Helen was asked to nominate a whiskey to go to Scotland, to Isla, for Jim McEwen to taste, and Jim was supposed to get one for Helen to taste, but having a nose and chose whiskey. And anyway, I drank all of Jim McEwen's whiskey on the road back, um, but the whole scene got edited. But the, the thing that Helen had nominated to represent Ireland, that you're going under the nose of one of the most famous distillers in Scotland, Ireland was different tradition than it is to Bushmills, but just across the slim body of water, what do you put in front of them? And Helen chose Muscatel, which I also drank uh, on the boat oh. back because the scene got edited. So I, I was I was the light, I was drinking all this. <laughs> but um, anyway, there was that, you know, when push comes to shove, what do you push forward? And it was, as you were saying, you know, this is a life's work. This is, yeah. this is what we are at Bush Mills. Yep. This, is, this is what I want shoved under the, the, the desk across the way. You know, yeah. and that made a big impression on me. I agree. I, 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 agree. Hope, I, hope, I hope people really enjoyed it. Because I it, did. <laughs> yeah, you did on the boat back. But <laughs> see, see, I mean, 
out of the out of all these so far, I would say one and two. Not that it finishes quickly. They don't, but they they've got a lovely finish to them. But even now, having just drunk this one, it's the one that's leaving a lot of flavour in other parts of my mouth. Mm. It's kind of leaving flavour. Not yeah. that it's finished. It's just imparted it into different parts. Which is really nice. The other ones weren't doing that. They're not imparting it into that kind of space. I do like that. I do, but it's... My favourite. Yeah, My favourite always. I don't, know if you can, I don't know if you can... My favourite always. Uh, what, what, what's everybody's verdict on it? We'll, we'll, we'll a, ask a favourite at the it, end. Yeah. We'll ask at the end. But yeah, we'll hold off and we'll ask that at the end. It's the only one. It's got like... For, for what it's trying to do, it's trying to, it's trying to lead you somewhere. It's trying to give you an, other options. I think something like this... If I'm going to, if I'm placing this where I'm drinking it, I want to drink this right after my dinner. As soon as yeah. I've finished eating, as soon as the plate's done, I want to move on to this, and I want to just keep drinking that probably for a good hour after dinner. That's that period in my life. That's where that one sits. A nice digestif. Yeah, I think the thirty-year-old. <laughs> I think the thirty-year-old is maybe later on. I think the Malaga yeah. is going to tell me it's closer to you know reading a book and going to bed. You know that kind of deep kind of. I want to experience it, and we're going to go on to that. Yep. But this one is, this is lively. It's in there. It's dinner time. It's sweetness. It's, you know, yeah, it just wants to take you on a wee journey. It, it hasn't stopped invoking senses within my mouth. Yeah, I do like that. 